Good morning YouTube. Thank you for tuning in to GY6 Scooters. We're out here on a lovely morning uh, ride this morning and the sun is up already. Normally I'm out here riding in the dark hours as the sun's barely coming up but I happen to sleep in just a tad today so that put me uh, back in like an hour and a half behind schedule. But no biggie man. The plus side is it's bright out here. The GoPro is able to make better content for you guys. The downside is there's a lot more traffic. That's why I've been trying to hit the cuts right now. I want to try to hit the country roads. Yeah. Miss out on all the busy uh, city limit roads, you know? From the looks of it, man, I hope it, yeah, there shouldn't be too many people out here. I like riding in the country, man. I don't know what it is, looking at farm animals, looking at the trees, looking at... Just looking at all the country homes, different styles of the people that live there. They decorate their house different, you know. I just I soak it all in, man. Lovely way to start your morning is get on your scooter or motorcycle and go out for a nice little country ride. I think I'm gonna bust the left right here and go a little bit deeper into the country. We got gas? Yeah. Full tank. I love scooters, man. Every time I look down at the gas situation, it normally reads somewhere around full. be out here doing full throttle or whatever but today I don't even feel like jamming man I just feel like just cruising man mid throttle and enjoy the ride grapes behind me we got one car way up there but that's why I like about taking country roads if I was in town right now there'd have been a lot of red lights a lot of jam pack uh, traffic everybody trying to get their kid to school and get off to work seven between seven and eight's a busy time man no matter where you live everybody's either trying to make that eight o'clock eight thirty uh, punch in time for work and get the kid at school so it's rush hour Look at these guys out here. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? <laughs> man, this is what I like waking up for, man. Thank you, God, for another day, huh? All right, you guys, enjoy your graze. They're grazing right now. Weeping willow trees. Chickens. 
and a horse or horses I took off my uh, heated gloves thinking man it's just too hot and my fingertips are starting to get a little cold thinking about putting back on my heat gloves I like this little ranch right here got a couple cows in there where you see cows you often see chickens right now I just got reminded to, reminded about something being that the weather's a little cold outside right now and my hot breath fogged up my visor but I normally don't be using my tinted visor. I got my tinted visor on right now. Uh, in the winter, I normally use my clear visor. And with my no fog uh, shield, you know. So this one doesn't got that fog protection on it. So that tells me I need to switch up my visors or buy a... Yeah, I really don't want to be riding with the tinted one during night hours. big old boulders out there strawberries that's hard work right there there's a family out there I think I see a car parked over there but yeah that's some hard work right there man anybody that's out there picking strawberries hard work go home with the sore back and uh, so often you have these little slivers in your fingers you know There's a 61 out here right now. I like coming this route. It switches from the temperature and what time it is. So I caught the temperature. I didn't catch what time it was, but it says 61 Fahrenheit. detour good thing I wasn't gonna go right now I would have pulled out right in front of that lady I thought that was just a turn lane only but no people coming straight and going so let's slow our roll here play things safe That lady scared me. That's she's coming over my lane. All right. So what do I got to get today? All right. So we're back in my hometown of Turlock, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the ride, the video. Yeah. Now I'm sitting here thinking I gotta pick up. I forgot. I gotta pick up some milk. Uh, Gatorade. 
You know what? Our kid must have left, right? Yeah. The bus, man, was sitting there forever, so hell, man, I just decided to go. Then he decided to go. Didn't mean to pull out in front of the bus like that, but that's the way it worked out. Everybody said that's the main thing, you know? I think I want to readjust my 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 valves again, the bottom valve, because when I adjusted my valves, the top one was set good at 0 .004 with just the right amount of uh, drag on it, you know. But the bottom one, man, it was tight as can be. I couldn't get nothing underneath that. And uh, so I opened it up to 0 .005. And to be honest. It didn't have the snow drag like I like I would like for it to have. And uh, now, as I'm starting up my the scooter, like at a cold start, just like letting her warm up, I can hear it a little bit clattering. But they say slightly loose valves are happier than a very tight valve, you know. But then you always hear the opposing. They say no, nah, because I was on the, I was worried about riding it like that. It's not the, it's not clattering real loud. But at stop signs, when I'm at stop signs, I'm not used to hearing a slight little ticky noise, you know. But she does run a lot better. Because uh, when it was tight, it was running like crap. Let's see if you guys hear it. Or see if I'm just tripping. But I'm starting to... Sounds like a clatter, like a ticking. And I'm thinking I just left my bottom valve a little bit too loose. And all in all though, it's got to be between a 005 and a 006. But the top one's a 004. So I might, whenever I go and put on my new uh, disc brakes and uh, my rotor, I might as well go ahead and uh, adjust that valve to it says left turn yield on green okay so let's be cautious about this turn I, look, I like this park man but it's not the park that you want to come and lay a sheet down there's a lot of ducks here a lot of geeses and they every square inch has got some kind of poop you know from the birds so if you did come to this park thinking about laying down you might want to bring a throwaway sheet a throwaway blanket my old house man I used to live right in that my house was had the biggest yard guys I was located out there in that field. A uh, house right there in the middle, in the field, and um, had a lot of uh, yard, man, a lot of backyard, had a lot of garage. I would love to have that house still, man, um, if uh, I didn't catch fire, faulty wiring uh, led to a garage fire that led into the kitchen, because our garage had a little breezeway. So when you walk out the kitchen door, there's like a breezeway. I think that was a fan right there, man. That kid was giving me thumbs up. All right, buddy, I saw you. Yeah, man. Um. But yeah, it was like a, whew, I want to say 12:30 at night. Yeah, uh, I seen a big old glow, man. I was coming back. Uh. I was coming back from that Donnelly Park that we just passed by right there. Uh, not from the park, but I was coming from walking my son home. His mom lived, uh, I always walked him home, you know. So I was approaching and I, it's dark, you know. Hella, it's like pitch dark out there. And I seen a hell of a, like a glow. And I, man, I got nervous. I started running. Seeing smoke. Seeing, hear things popping. 
So I automatically went to the back door and it was locked. I tried to kick it down. My dad answers and he was like, hey, what the hell? I'm like, get everybody out. And he's like, what'd you do? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Golly, man, it was a terrible experience. But uh, we got relocated, same landlady and stuff. She had a different uh, place to put us in, but it was it's an uh, apartment, you know. But uh, there it has its pros and cons, guys. At that old house that we lived at, it was only ACs on the windows and a big old water cooler on the top. And during summers, it was real hot. During winters, it was real cold. And poor insulation, older home, and uh, it sucked, man. It burned up in the. Alright, I gotta... My muffler just broke. <laughs> I hit the deer. Alright, so we got a Harley going on right now, guys. At least I know why I was lacking performance. All right, so let's go like this. All right, so I was always wondering, man, why is my scooter not really uh, going up to speed? And I always blamed it on that disc. I come to find out I had a compression leak, man. Because right now the clamp still, it just, the, the exhaust underneath, as you guys can see it, it's... Oh yeah, the exhaust is just hanging there. It's broken. <laughs> I got two of these at the house, guys. I always keep spare, uh, spare parts. I got two brand new uh, headers. And uh, I got a brand new swing arm. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that as well. Good thing I don't have to order it. Because I do ride this every day. Alright, guys. Let's go home. Selling like a Harley, shall we? I sort of want to take a cigarette break. A little stressed out right now. But I don't want to be on this here busy road. Catching attention of a cop or something. I'm cracking up, man. Oh, man. That is a trip. Sounds like a freaking Harley. Alright, guys. This brings it uh, to the end of the video right here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the the video. And I hope you guys got your kicks and laugh at the end right now. Hella funny, man. But uh, I'll make it home. I'm only like five blocks away from being at home right now. Just going to stop at this little store and pick up a few items that we need. And then I'll go ahead and uh, take the back roads home. And yeah, we'll see you on the next episode. Or right, maybe we'll go ahead and do a how-to video, okay? On uh, installing one of these here headers and installing a rotor. Uh, this here disc rotor, brake rotor and uh, the bra brake pads. So yeah, we do got some maintenance to do. But I'm hella happy, guys. You guys probably think, what are you hella happy for? For about a month now, about about the last two to three weeks, I've been like, man, what the hell, man? I'm not hitting my high RPMs or nothing, man. I used to hit like 7,500 RPMs up to 8,000. And it's been stuck at 6,500 RPMs. And it's like, man, this is weird. Is it my disc rotor is bent? So that's what I was thinking. I'm thinking, man, this thing's got to be bent. But if it was really bent, I don't think, I, I think I would really notice it, you know? So it comes to find out that, it was a compression leak. I was uh, 
yeah, yeah, had a bench. Watch, I put on a new header, and the scooter's going to actually uh, run and act a lot better. But for right now, poor, uh, poor Ruby man, she's out of commission right now. I'm going to take her home and fix her up. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.